We were disappointed that this important legislation did not overcome the filibuster against it, but we did not view that as a terminal point for the DREAM Act. And for that reason, I commend you, Senator Durbin, uh, and the numerous co-sponsors of the DREAM Act for continuing to work to pass this bill. The case for the DREAM Act is strong, and there are many ways in which this legislation is important for our country. President Obama has called the DREAM Act the right thing to do for the people it would affect and the right thing to do for the country. And not only is it the right thing, it is the smart thing. Both Democrats and Republicans have voiced support for this common sense bill because it's important to our economic competitiveness, as Secretary Duncan said, our military readiness, as you will hear, and there is, quite frankly, no reason not to pass this important legislation. Uh, it's also important to our law enforcement efforts. And as the member of the cabinet responsible for enforcement, I would like to focus on how the DREAM Act would strengthen our ability to enforce and administer our nation's immigration laws. Indeed, the priorities we have set are strengthened by the DREAM Act. It's simple. Passage of the DREAM Act would allow us to focus even more attention on true security and public safety threats by providing a firm but fair way for individuals brought into our country as children through no fault of their own to obtain legal status by pursuing higher education or by serving in the United States Armed Forces. As introduced, the DREAM Act establishes a rigorous process for those who enter the United States illegally as children, but allows them to obtain conditional permanent resident status by proving that they meet several strict requirements. Those individuals who would qualify under the DREAM Act do not fall within our enforcement priorities, and passage of the DREAM Act would completely eliminate them from the population that is subject to immigration enforcement. Now, the DREAM Act will neither resolve nor substitute for the need for comprehensive immigration reform. But while the broader immigration debate continues, I urge the Congress to address the DREAM Act now. It's common sense legislation. It has been supported, at least in the past, by Democrats, Republicans, and independents, and it will assist the Department of Homeland Security in fulfilling our, sake, our security, our public safety, and our immigration enforcement missions.